It's another hot day out here for the Jericho Run. It is 91 degrees. Uh, humidity is 59%, so it feels like 103. Air quality is 128, which isn't isn't the best. If you look at a, a scale, it'd be about the 25% mark. Uh, but yeah, it's a hot sunny day today. I love it. Feeling pretty good. Had a little pre-workout. Had my my uh, Mississippi mud this morning a few hours ago. That's fully digested by now. So it's time to uh, get it going. Jericho number six. Uh, man, I'm about to sweat so much. Oh, look at this. Look at campus. T today, campus just looks extra bright. So I'm getting a later start than normal, um, which has given me time to like get my nutrition in and let that digest. Um, did a few errands today already. So today's leg day, and uh, this is the fourth run for this week. So I'm gonna take it super slow. Like, I may intentionally make this my slowest time for the Jericho run yet, uh, for that reason. Um, I'm on the fourth, fourth, fourth week, I think, of the 10 week mass game program. So I'm starting to increase the weight. Uh, so I don't wanna have my legs completely shot going into this weightlifting uh, workout today. So um, yeah, super slow on this one. Um, let's see what the time is. Uh, my goal, like I mentioned, is to go slow, but also is to complete the entire run without stopping like the previous Jericho run. If you haven't watched that one, go back and watch that. Um, but yeah, all right, enough talking. Let's, uh, let's hit the pavement. On the outside looking in, I really wasn't sure what I was getting. Between the highways on the sea, Hit my goal. They try to keep my heart rate under 150, but I didn't have my any type of measuring gauge for that other than intensity, my perceived intensity and uh, speed. So I actually beat it by a few seconds, average pace by a few seconds today. Like I said, I hit my goal of not stopping. I ran the entire time. Um, and the thing about it is like, I wanted to stop multiple times. I wanted to stop all the way up to the finish line like even when i saw it I, there was part of me that wanted to just walk the rest of the way because i was right there uh, but i think there's a lesson in that at least for me is uh discipline um that can be a scary word it can sound real military or it can sound rigid uh, but it's a good practice to it's a good thing to make a practice of is discipline so this is just a little way that i practice it um, with running the complete Jericho run without stopping. Um, not worried about time, really. Not worried about speed. Um, definitely making sure I'm fueled up and have the nutrition to be able to perform at a, at a good uh, level um, and feel good, but not stopping. That's, that's a big goal. Like, I'm so happy with that. And I think that translates into other areas of life, too. Not that by doing something like this, it'll make us hard and, like I said, rigid and disciplined and not enjoy the other aspects of things, but uh, just having discipline to say no and to even say yes to, to the right things. Um, this is just how I practice it. Um, so that's, that's something that you can adopt to um, if you decide to start running or join uh, our run club um, to make goals like that. Don't necessarily make it about the number, but make it about things that actually matter. Um, things that you can apply um, to your life um, all the way around, not just in one specific area. Not that that's a bad thing, but most of the time, things that you learn through uh, challenging yourself in, in these type of ways is can be applied to different areas of life. So, 
Yeah. Jericho number six. Done. I know I already mentioned it, but it is hot. Woo, check in after the run. It is hot. It is hot. Sweat to confirm. And the sun beaming off my forehead. Woo, time to hit this leg workout and then have two days off. We'll do some light cardio um, with our biking group that meets here in Memphis Saturday mornings. Um, got a dinner tonight. Looking forward to that. Steak dinner um, after this workout. So yeah, let me hit this legs, these legs hard and uh, wrap up. Um, not only this week of Jericho runs, but also this week, I think it's week four of the 10 week mass gain program. So it's all coming together.